What's going on people, welcome to 27 Works, and today we're having a look at the Porsche Cayman 981 BFR, which is a bit of a mouthful, but it's another car from uh, BZ Simworks, the same guys who made the Ferrari uh, 488 Pista from the previous video, I'll leave a link in the description or you'll see like a title screen at the end or something like that where you can check that out if you haven't already, fantastic car, absolutely recommend checking it out. But yeah, when I was checking out that car, they had another few cars in their kind of like posts or download section or whatever on the Facebook group, and yeah, I downloaded them and this just caught my eye, if I jump into the Assetto Corsa showroom, you'll see why it's absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just gonna switch over there and we'll have a look. So as you can see here, it's just I I can't I can't get over it. It's like a nine like a 911 uh, GT2 RS GT3 RS sort of thing, but for the Cayman, just an amazing job. I can't recommend like I can't speak highly enough of the job that they've done on the appearance and visuals of this car, how it actually drives obviously, and how it looks if it if it passes the VR test is obviously still to be seen. This would be a completely blind drive. I've not done anything with the car within the headset or within the game at all. I've literally downloaded it and I've kind of got it loaded up and I've had a look in the content uh, kind of manager showroom the same way that I'm doing here so it'll be a blind test for me the same as will for you so if you don't know what we do here in this little series uh, of VR kind of first looks what I do is basically I take the car into VR after a little kind of like a montage compilation of its uh, some beauty shots of it and basically have a look around VR just make sure like all the kind of qualities there that you want from the interior from the cabin have a look around the outside listen to the sound that kind of thing and just yeah just have a drive and then finally we do we do a lap around the Nürburgring so let's get into it I can feel very rare just for what it's worth i'm gonna cut in before this loads up i very rarely i'm genuinely excited to try out a car while it's loading this is one of the rare cases so here's fingers crossed that it kind of lives up to the hype well good lord it looks absolutely outstanding as a kind of uh right off the bat wow I don't mind the flicker and I think that might just be an issue with the VR with uh, the, the uh, custom sh sh shaders patch or saw or something like that I've been getting it like just in general lately but wow yeah all the attention to detail so so good oh there it is <laughs> one thing that will never two things I should say that will never escape me about how good um, VR is is looking behind you in a rear engine or mid engine car and in a Formula 1 car being able to look behind you and see the wing and the big fat tyres and stuff like that in a classic Formula 1 car or whatever or being able to look behind you and see the mid engine exposed like in this case is just It's absolutely so, just, it's it's incredibly immersive, like. Um, but yeah, just having a look around, uh, just to kind of touch on everything. Again, the steering wheel looks fantastic, all the kind of stitching that you can see there. Got my harnesses. But yeah, just to kind of give some details, like, I'm just, I can see the clock there has the proper time, both in the digital format and on the actual one on the dash there, the 1337, which I always set it to, just because, you know, 137 works. You've got the shout out there from Beto Fernandez on the on the kind of little screen. Steering wheel with all the buttons and all that kind of stuff. Absolutely perfect, like, the guys absolutely nailed it. So, you know what's up next, we go for the sound test, let's see how it sounds, I can hear the kind of the idle ticking away and it sounds really good, so let's... Sounds really good, there's not much happening down low, it's a bit mushy kind of down low, which is not ideal, let me just turn up my own volume here for a second. Yeah, not lots happening between one and kind of four. But then as you get up higher, yeah, it sounds real good. Let's go for the outside. Ooh, oh, it sounds nasty from the outside. So yeah, sounds pretty class overall. Um, yeah, just a very, very low kind of in the one to three thousand, maybe three and a half thousand doesn't sound unbelievable. But one thing that I do notice, I'm guessing BF4 stands for Beto Fernandez. Like it's it's his own kind of specific tune version. It's not really an actual Porsche that exists is my guess. But what I will say is it's like, I'm not a big fan of when mod creators or people 
that create something like a wallpaper or something that put their name on it like you'll see that a lot with like football wallpapers or like football player wallpapers or like car wallpapers the person that created it will put their name or their username or their twitter boy or something like that in the creation i get why you do it you want to kind of like let people know that it was you and that kind of thing just to me it seems it always just comes off a bit tacky like he's got i noticed when we were having a look from the outside there he has a like you can see down there if down by the bottom left of the door beta fernandez the kind of name it's done classy now it's a nice font and all that kind of stuff and like the, the implementation with the name and that kind of stuff again it looks great it's just if i had the choice i wouldn't have it just as a, as a small thing but yeah i wanted to touch on the car a little bit just before we get started jeremy clarkson has inf infamously said about caymans in the past that you only get a cayman because you can't afford a 911 and if you're ever driving around in a cayman and you pull up beside a 911 it's kind of just an embarrassment like you're, you you look you have to look beside you and go that's what i couldn't have sort of thing but i don't think that's the case anymore for me now caymans like and again for anybody that doesn't know the cayman is just basically the hard top like full car version of the boxster it's kind of again has a weird reputation or it had in the past at least of being kind of like a, a like a hairdresser's car or a feminine car or something like that but again just these kind of newer generations they've absolutely killed it they've knocked the style out of the park again i'm guessing this isn't a real thing but like i think i said in one of the takes here if i didn't already it reminds me it's just basically like gt2 gt3 rs like 911 but in in cayman form it's absolutely beautiful but yeah that's just kind of a, a little thing that i wanted to say get out of the way first of all like i actually love caymans if i it, obviously if you had the choice you'd go with 911 but there's absolutely no shame in my opinion nowadays in buying the Cayman, going, going down the Cayman route. But that's about enough uh, chit chat. Let's go and see how it goes out on the trick track. And again, this Porsche does not have a clutch, which is a strange thing to get used to. So as we pay our toll, we head out. I'm very, very excited. I'm very curious to see how this performs. Whoa, okay. Jesus H Christ. <laughs> okay, I may have forgot to mention, this thing has 765 odd horsepower, about 850 or so, if I'm not mistaken, Newton meters of torque, and it only weighs 1200 pounds. So it is an absolute freak of nature. <laughs> like, that is going to be very interesting to try and tame around this track. Whoa, locking up the brakes a bit. Obviously, still cold, tyre's still cold. Oh ho! That's a curb, alright. Saved it. Jesus, this thing's wild. Whoa, this is the bat the first this is the worst first sector of any lap that I've done so far for this. This thing is wild. Again, if you're unfamiliar, this is the stock. Stock tune, I don't do anything with it. Well, that was a very interesting opening sector, like... <laughs> My god, as we approach Flugplatz... Oh, when we get a little air and a little jiggly... It's... it's... I just keep saying it, it's wild! This is crazy! So fast! Like, I questioned if the Ferrari Pista was a uh, 300 kilometers car. This one is. <laughs> Like with the piece that we had to wait until kind of like getting through the um the very last straight and i didn't even reach it i had to break before i could actually reach the 300 kilometers this thing blast past it my god it's bumpy as well <laughs> whoa this is an experience oh shifted down one too low there Again, I always say, excuse my line through this part of the track. It's not, it's just something that I can never remember for life me. But then you stick your foot down and it just bites the head off you. This is lunacy. Oh, but such grip there. Such grip. Like, again, the, the rear engine nature of the Porsche means that if you do it right, whoa, you should be able to plant your foot down. Again, line not ideal here. First lap, first ever try. Just being so ginger. I took it that terribly there. That was the hit, uh, miss, hit, miss section. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's try and save it. 
just about, my god. This is a handful. Locks up so easily as well. Again, obviously brakes and tires very still, still pretty cold, I'd imagine. But it doesn't like to be have it doesn't like to have its brakes stamped on at all. Try to see what had happened if I stepped on it, and it was an interesting response. My goodness! But as you can see, as I can feel as I pick up the speed, it's not very smooth. You can see I'm being very jerky with the wheel here, but oh, as I pick up the speed, the downforce starts to kick in, and it actually it, it sucks itself into the ground. Something terrible. I'm, I mean, something terrible in a very good way. Such an interesting feeling in the car. I think with a reasonable tune and uh, a bit more time and practice in it, this could be an absolute weapon. Like, I'm actually physically sweating already. <laughs> Let's see how it handles the carousel. No trouble at all. A little bit of oversteering the way out, but not too bad. Like, I'm physically sweating, I keep having to <laughs> breathe in heavily to de-miss de de the, uh... Ah, I shouldn't have there. There's that corner again! Every it's becoming a routine at this point. It's becoming a bit of a tradition at this point to make a mess up of that section. <laughs> now we come into what I call the YouTube section. I feel like I could be a lot braver than I'm being. Oof, not that brave. Jesus. <laughs> or not that stupid, I should say, taking the curbs like that. Um, but, you know, you have a big off like that. Kind of unsettles your nerves just a little bit. And we go wide, and I'm in the YouTube highlights. <laughs> I'm in the YouTube highlights for... Without a shadow of a doubt. Such an interesting car. I had, you just have to try this out. Basically, that's all I will say. It's not something that you just take my word for it. Give it a blast. The sheer power to rate ratio on it must be bonkers with 700 plus horsepower. Whoa, that's... That is no good. My, my, my. It's a monster. Yeah, with 700 plus horsepower, 750 plus horsepower, 800 and f whatever it was, <laughs> newton meters of torque, and weighing as light as it does, like this thing is... It's asking for trouble. <laughs> like... Locks, it does lock up very, very easily though, I have to say. As we approach the uh, start finish straight, let's see what we can do before we have to jam on. So we're already, New Year's makes no difference, 300. It starts to slow down quite a bit. Can we do 315? There we go. <laughs> and I'm not making it at all. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Jesus, that was an experience. Absolutely mind blown with that. I said I was excited for it. It gave me a reason to be excited. That's <laughs> there's no doubt about that. Highly, highly recommended. Obviously, of the laps that I, of the videos that I've made so far, that lap was easily the worst one. So many mistakes and errors. I don't think they were the car's fault. I just think I wasn't used to the car track combination. Yeah, again, and just whatever. Maybe trying to try, try to be too fancy with my commentary while while driving. Maybe getting a bit distracted or something. This thing is wild. It's I, I, I keep saying it. It's the only word that I can use. It's absolutely bonkers. Just such uh, such sheer speed, like such sheer speed, and then so light, and then you've got that downforce feeling. As I said, once you start to when, once you get the, the speed going, you get that downforce sensation, where you can feel it, like the, where that part where I had to 
take a couple of bites like whew, that was again that was an experience <laughs> like you have to try it you absolutely have to try it yeah that kind of that car has to be has to be experienced to be believed jesus it's so it, that's so unique it's a very very that was a very unique feeling car great great job by the guys again i don't think there's a real life car to compare it to unfortunately which is not ideal but if there is one i don't want to <laughs> i don't want to ever be near it in real life that was that was insanity so uh, that's about it i think if you enjoyed it please do leave a thumbs up subscribe if you're new here thanks for watching hi goodbye Thank you.